How do you make time to study Chinese? What is up, elementary Chinese fam? It's that special time of year where it gets a little cold, but thank goodness the heat just came on in my house. I got floor heating, my socks is warm, but I still get to sport my favorite winter hat. How many of you guys love decathlon? Anyway, my name's Kuei Zhou. I'm creator here at Elementary Chinese, where I teach you the everyday Chinese you need to get what you want here in China. And if you're watching from the US or you've never seen me, thanks for sticking around and thanks for joining us today. Um, this is about you, community, and thanks for liking this video if it's good for you. Community, elementary Chinese family, I wanna know, how do you guys get the most out of your day? Because we all busy, right? But you got some secrets and please share right now. Start leaving, we're live in the live chat, so start leaving uh, comments and secrets and tips in the live chat. And if you're watching on the replay, thanks for watching. It's always cool to share a little bit of my time with you and get to know you. I wanna know where are you watching from? What city, what country? Cause I don't know all the cities in the world. Time, hmm. Hacking Chinese is the article that we're reading. The link is right down below in the description. And Hacking Chinese, if you don't know, is written by the wonderful Swede, Ole, O-L-L-E, Linga. And if we keep doing these articles, maybe someday he'll show up and bless us with his presence. But he wrote an article, Time Barrel, How to Find More Time to Study Chinese. Look, it's like right here on my computer. Is it on your computer? You can follow along as we do this little discussion. But Hacking Chinese is a great resource. This guy is like a double master's, master's degree in teaching English, master's degree in teaching Chinese, and English isn't even his native language. He probably speaks it better than I do. Um, time barrel, it's a cup, right? Here's a, vi here's a visual of it just for you right there. It's a cup, and that's your day, okay? And, well, the concept he talks about is, <laughs> it's getting a little hot. The big things that go in your cup are the things that you can get rid of. Like, uh, do you got a day job? Yeah, me too. Even though I don't teach anymore, like this is my day job. And so like, what are the kind of the big rocks that are in your cup every day? Like one, breakfast. Uh, hey, how many hours do you teach a day? Are you a teacher here in China? That's what I thought, like five? hours a day that's a big rock um hmm you got family here after you get home i got a two-year-old and i have a wife yeah they take time these are the big rocks throughout the day right but what all alinga talks about is pebbles and the smaller grains see like i don't think it's just you it's probably me too like i look at my day and i'm like Good Lord, how can I find the time to do these things? In this case, language, but you know, it's everything in life. And I'm looking at the big rocks in my schedule, but really, I gotta look at the pebbles. Cause you can jump, you can dump in pebbles into a big old glass and uh, you can, that, that's kind of the concept of learning Chinese. This, this is my glass I got right here. It's actually my hot chocolate. Do you guys make hot chocolate and you put salt in there? I love putting salt in my hot chocolate. Salt and some sugar and coconut milk. So here's the thing, the big rocks, like the day job, family, um, commute, and any other obligations you have, kids, right? How do we fit time around those? Like elementary Chinese community, this is where we become a community or an even better one. And I want you guys to share right now, either leave a comment if you're watching in the replay or put something in the live chat. For me, here's a pebble that I dropped into my schedule. And that pebble was morning walks, uh, my morning routine. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm out or up at 5.30, which means maybe I get out of bed at 4, 5.45 and I try to get outside. And a little bit of that time outside, I take my flashcards and my app. Now, if you've been hanging around the channel a while, you know that I don't really care for apps, 
only because I already learned Chinese. I didn't use apps, but I'm going to Mexico soon to learn Spanish for some weeks. And don't worry, I'll still be doing the YouTube thing. But I got this app here. It's called Drops, and it's a vocabulary app. And I figured the first thing I tell you guys is to learn vocabulary if you're here in China, because I learned vocabulary, and I'm going to learn. I am learning vocabulary, so I do that. And it's just a little pebble. It's just like five minutes, okay? <laughs> you and your husband are rock teaching a husband on your rocks, so you plan a schedule to fill your rock your cup with pebbles. But what? What's the pebble? What? What's the pebble for you? What's the pebble activity? I want to know, Priscilla. Good to see you on here. Um. So you know what another pebble activity is? Is I got this app called. Raz Kids Reading A to Z, and you can't use it for Chinese, but it has little Spanish books in it. So I just told myself I'm gonna do like three books a day. Actually, that's so little, right? But I can fit it into every day. Another pebble of time for me is right before I go to bed at night, because I'm just laying there, and that might not work for you. Like the biggest thing is you have to know yourself. And that's the hardest thing, right? But when we read these books and we get overwhelmed with all this information about how to save time, what happens is, is ooh, that's not a good angle. How about here? What happens? What like what what happens, right? So you get this book, How to Save Time, and you waste the time reading the book, and you feel lost. And they're telling you all these things. Just know, like, when does your peak learning happen? Can you squeeze in a pebble of Chinese? Like, what do you even do? Do you do flashcards? Do you use Duolingo? Do you use Memrise? Do you use Chinese Skill? If you're just joining the live stream, welcome to the live stream. We're talking about time, and an article, just hanging out, an article written by Ola Linga over at Hacking Chinese, and that link to the article is right there below in the descriptions. But like, what do you use? What ha what are the pebbles you drop in your glass that's full of big stones? And those Chinese pebbles would be the ones that are gonna help you. Learn Chinese because you can drop a couple pebbles a day. When I had the day job at work, because um, it's a day job, very intelligent, Quajo. It's hard to talk to you on this camera and not hear what you're saying to me. But I commuted in the bus. Um, I was kind of antisocial, didn't talk. But what I did do is listen to audio. Actually, I did a lot of sending messages to you on Instagram. <laughs>、um, but that's where I fit in my Instagram time, messaging you because you followed me and I was like, hey, how's it going? How's your Chinese coming along?、Uh, sometimes though, I did listen to Chinese on the bus because I had to commute for 20 minutes. How long is your commute? Let me know. Leave a quick comment. How much time do you spend commuting to work? And how are you commuting? Subway? Bus? You walking? Are you on your mo bike because Ofo sucks? <clears throat> Sorry, get a mo bike.、Um, do you like those new ones? I'm in Tianjin, China, and these new super nice orange mo bikes are really nice to ride.、Uh, but can you listen to a podcast? Last Tuesday, we're going live every Tuesday. Some lady was talking about a podcast, and I forgot it. But it was a Chinese podcast. Do I want to feel? Oh God, I am in stagnant state. After this, I'm gonna give up. Yeah, sure. I feel like that. That's because I'm looking at the rocks in my glass, and all I see are these big rocks that I can't move, and they're in there every day. Called the day job, maybe my family, maybe I'm part of like a basketball team or recreation, something that is optional, but I chose to put it in my life. We gotta look at these pebbles and how we can drop the pebbles in the glass. So. Even if I only got in like five or six minutes of my Chinese flashcards on the bus to work in the morning or on the subway, yeah, like that was okay. In a month, there's what twenty days of work. What's five times twenty? A hundred. So that would be a hundred minutes of Chinese study if I just did five on the bus. One way to work, a hundred minutes of Chinese study a month. That's a lot. Like it's just a pebble. But can you drop another pebble in, like、uh, for lunch? I was a teacher. If you were a teacher, oh man, like you know how lunch is. What lunch break do we even get? Like we're on duty in the cafeteria, or we got to do like I did a lot of lesson planning on lunch, right? 
You got five minutes of drops in the morning before you start getting ready. Priscilla, usually you would scroll social media, but that's not a good habit. Yeah, I know. I know. I got these bad habits too. Like I get up, I just lay in bed. Like I spend probably like five minutes being like, what am I going to do today? Which could be a good habit. If I change that and I'm like, what am I going to do today? And plan the day for success. So, but I would do, I would walk around sometimes at lunch in the gym or the green room was what it was at our school where there weren't other students and I would look at Chinese on my phone. Uh, by the way, find Chinese. Don't waste your time on Chinese like products, paid or free, that you're not interested in. So I like phones, tech, you know, I guess typical guy. Uh, what are you interested in? I found this site called InGadget. And it's in Chinese, and it's talking about phones and stuff. So I read it, or I read it, you know, because it's interesting to me. But what's interesting to you? Do you like football? Do you like ping pong? Like, what do you like? Tell me in the comments. Um, I'm looking, because I'm looking for your comments. But if you can find Chinese material about that, it could help you find the time. What's another pebble we could drop into our schedule? What about... I don't know. What about the other times when you're on social media? What about when you're in the bathroom, right? Like, how about swipe away from Instagram while you're on the toilet? Come on now. And uh, swipe over to your favorite Chinese app, right? Dabu, I see you there. What app do you use? Please tell me the two Chinese apps that you use the most. Hello, Chinese is the best. What other one do you use, Dabu? I see you. Thank you for leaving comments. That is so cool. Um. So that's a pebble. That's that's a pebble of time. Like, I mean, let's just be honest. When I go into the restroom and I look, like, there's people there. And they're on their phone, right? I'm like, put your phone down a moment. You know, wash your hands, too. Oh, my gosh. But they're on their phone on WeChat. So how come I can't, like, get... And this is, I'm talking to myself, but, like, how come I can't open up the app and swipe through a few vocabulary words? What else? Uh, my school bus didn't drop me off right next to my home. I had to commute like uh, 15 minutes. And if you look at some of the earlier videos, um, I'll link to one up there right now. Or wait, I'm live, so I'll link to one up here right now. But some of the earliest taxi videos about how to get around Tianjin in China in a taxi, you can see me walking past that orange bridge you know, and that orange bridge is on the way home. Like I was filming these videos on the way home after I got off the bus and had to walk to my house, right? If I was actively studying Chinese, like, could you do that? Thanks for liking this video, by the way. And could you take a moment and share this out? If you're like watching on YouTube, hit that share button and share it to some, you're watching, you're all watching on YouTube, but share it to like two friends that are friends on YouTube that could you know, join in on our next Tuesday live, because I'll be here at 9 a.m. every Tuesday. If I'm not here, then send me a message and tell me to get well soon because I'm sick, or my daughter got sick, or my wife got sick, and I'm at the hospital. Um, first, it helps me, then I keep progress. I have no idea what I'm doing on Hello Chinese. Maybe switch an app. If you only use one app, like last week, we talked about using multiple, no, two weeks ago, we talked about using multiple resources so you could get the language reinforced. Oh, I don't want to sit here the whole time. Slurp, slurp, slurp. But if you use multiple resources, you could get your Chinese reinforced different ways, and that will help, uh, help it stick in your brain. There's this concept called spaced repetition, which just means if you learn something once and then you see it again, Quizlet a second or third time, but maybe like three days later, you'll learn. Quizlet. Quizlet. That's good, Dabu. I'm going to have to write Quizlet down. Like, really write it down. Sorry you can't see me because of the window. Let me write Quizlet down. Oh, you know what? I can turn on music. Finally got some music that YouTube won't slap my hand for playing, uh, for playing live. I don't want it to get copyrighted. So I'm going to go to my channel, elementarychinese.com, and look. 
Thank you for sharing this out with a friend. Live now, no time. We got time. Oh, I can't play music and watch the channel and look at your comments. So, sorry. ER, ni hao, meola, zola, buzaila. Alright. So back to this back to this metaphor. The time barrel. The barrel represents actually 24 hours in one day. A huge rock is sleep. If you're sleeping for six to eight hours, I need eight hours. How many hours of sleep do you need? James Cook, what's up? Students of English would rather listen to music on Spotify or watch Netflix than listening to audio suitable to their level. Well, dang. All right. So can we do that with Chinese? What are the music apps? Pyro Music, P-Y-R-O Music. I've seen that. Uh, what are the other music apps? QQ Music. That They scroll lyrics. Can anyone tell me? I don't take the subway in the mornings, but I've been to Beijing. When I go to Beijing, I take the subway, and there are Chinese people looking at... I don't know what app it is. I need to ask a friend, but I see lyrics on it. It looks really pretty, and all these big screen phones have it on there. What is that app? Like, do you know? Um, does anybody know? Because I want that app for music lyrics. Um, so if a glass, if your cup is 24 hours a day, the big rocks in there are the ones that you can't really get rid of, like you have sleep, and Alalinga says, apart from sleeping, there might be other things we have to do, like working, eating, or maintaining contacts with friends, because all oh, those friends, they need your time, right? I think that helps, but not as much as listening and reading according to your level. You got the right ideas, James. You got the right ideas. I mean, it all helps, really. Like, do as much as you can in as many different ways as you can. Uh, so rather than, so depending on what kind of job you have, the same will be true there. A teacher has lessons and meetings that he must attend to, but hardly fills up eight hours a day. Total work time might still exceed eight hours. I'm reading from the article and the link in the descriptions below. Going to class, of course, is represented by rocks, but we still have room for pebbles. The rocks are bulky tasks. The pebbles are, as Alalinga says, Writing a few sentences, if you can write. Maybe typing a few phrases that you may have heard in pinyin. A pebble, listening to audio on your phone. We talked about that. Listening to a song, right? Trying to sing along with the words. I talked about using an app and Dabu, you said, using uh, Hello Chinese, right? Um, that song. Best nightmare song ever. Thank God I don't know that song. I actually never heard that song. Maybe I'll find it so today. <laughs> Reading a Chinese book before going to bed, those are the pebbles, right? <clears throat> but even if, you're, even if your glass is full with pebbles, Priscilla, my weekend wander lust, you can drop in sand between the pebbles. And the sand always can fit in, no matter how full your cup is. Reviewing vocabulary using space repetition, right? Uh, what vocabulary app do you use? I've used Anki in the past. And by the way, if you're going to use an app, try to get one that has a vocabulary uh, organized by order of frequency or most commonly appearing words. Uh, that's what I did on Anki. So I had the first 500 most commonly appearing, I can never say that, characters. And I would fit those in. He says another way, and that's because if you just memorize the first hundred most commonly, frequently occurring characters, why can't I talk? Then you know, like, I think it's 60% of the characters you'll ever see in day-to-day -day life here in China. Huh. Listening to a few minutes of audio on your MP3 three player is the sand that can fit in to the glass. Reviewing a few tricky characters you have written on your hands. That is pretty... Ninja. So I'm going to take this character and I'm going to write it on my hand right now. Is it backward? Oh, it is backwards. Sad. So maybe if I wrote three characters on my hand before I left, like copy them from somewhere I saw and then put them on my hand. That's genius. All the lingo. You are genius. Chatting with a Chinese friend. Okay. Do you have a day job? Forget about Chinese friends. What about your Chinese colleagues? 
Can you chit chat with them? I absolutely adored Xue. W you can read backwards or is it frontwards? I don't know because it's hard to see myself. I'm not looking at myself right now. I'm looking at the article. I adored my Chinese Ai. Like she would come into the classroom, she would clean it. She was just like a delight to be around. And I would always say hi and she'd be like ni hao and we would chit chat. But I would just say random things and she would laugh and she would say random things to me, you know. And then it was like goodbye. That's like the sand, right? What about your Chinese colleagues, you know? What about what about the people who you might see on the subway? What about trying to strike up a random conversation? I know they're going to ask you the same seven questions every time, but still, that's sand. And you can get good at responding to what country you're from, deflecting the answer when they ask you how much money you make. Come on, you know. Uh, you know, when they ask you, how long have you been in China? You know, and they ask you, do you like China? Um, just respond to those questions. That's sand. And if you're good, if you really try hard, you can attempt to deviate from the standard conversation that you have every day, but you can still do it. What's another one? Chatting with a friend in Chinese, listening to Chinese sports. Huh. I have an app. It's a Chinese podcast app. It's called, here, look at it on my phone. It's called Lan Ren Ting Shu. It's not an app for beginners. Where is it? There it is. But still pretty good. And when it pops up and you get past this crazy, oh, five seconds to skip it. So it's a podcast app. Tons of Chinese podcasts on here. So, uh, and you can read books too. So you can go and where are they at? Programs, Jimu up there and you can scroll. What's this crazy cat one? Weird, interesting stuff. Okay, great. And then you can click down here and ting what a Jimu. Come on, I want to listen. Up here to listen. Buffer, 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 buffer. There we go. So you can get in here and they're organized by topics, right? Oh, it's an audiobook. Cool. And you can listen to audiobooks. You can listen to people talk about cooking. I'm going to turn this off because I don't actually like. Do you guys like that suave voice? Right? Like late night radio. Um, oh, Zhizhi Xinwen. So you got news on here you could listen to. Maybe it's a summary of like the daily news. You know what I'm saying? So that's called Lan Ren Ting Shu. Lan Ren. Lan Ren or Lan Ren. I never know. Because that's like one thing that I can't say. But um, it's Lazy Person Listen to a Book. And I got that from the US App Store. So it is in like Western App Stores, at least in the American App Store. Um, that can help, even if you don't understand everything. It's a good way to listen. I have this other one that is a Chinese, like Chinese Chinese app subscription based, but it reads audiobooks out loud for you. So that's another way. But the trick is, is don't get focused. Like Dabu was saying, you just want to give up, right? Don't get focused on all the big rocks in your schedule that are going to be there anyway that you can't move. Focus on the pebbles. Focus on the sand in there. I'm trying to find some more sand. I went live last week just for a little bit on Instagram and I met this guy. His name's Ryan and I'm gonna, hopefully Ryan will be my friend. Like Chinese friends are the best and I got too busy recently. Like haven't hung out with Chinese friends and so I realized like, I can talk to you guys but a lot of the things I do professionally I can't actually talk about in Chinese just to be like brutally transparent and that bothers me. Like it really bothers me that everyone I talk to will tell me I have good Chinese, but it's like I have a registered business here in China. I'm trying to compete for like media contracts and things like this. And my competition are college graduate Chinese folks. And I need to be able to speak Chinese and talk about what I do professionally. So um, I'm starting to hang out again with more Chinese folks. 
and get some help. So that's the way I'm trying to get the sand into my jar that's already full of big stones and pebbles. You guys, I want you to leave a comment. Like this video if it was good for you, okay? But the comment, the question, if you made it this far, is what is the one thing you can do? Just one pebble you can drop into your daily schedule. If it's a five minute pebble, and if you only dropped that, that pebble, that one sentence from elementary Chinese, oh my gosh, on Instagram, I do Instagram stories. Why didn't I tell you guys that? I totally forgot to like promote myself, but actually it's something that's really useful for you. Um, Instagram stories, I'm looking on my Instagram right here. Let's see, elementary Chinese Instagram stories. Look at this. I don't know, I didn't tell you about this. That could be your pebble. So you go through and you pick the tone and you listen to it. What tone is it? This one. All right. That's a pebble. One word a day. The tone practice. That's a pebble. My gosh, that's sand. I did, I, why didn't I tell you before? But if you're not following me on Instagram, head to Instagram and just look on my Instagram stories. That is a pebble, right? Um, that's, that's sand you can put into your schedule. James Cook, when you were learning German, you used to listen to Langsam Gesherbrzewisnachtensavn speak German. Slowly spoken news. That's actually pretty cool. I hope somebody in Chinese does something like that. Uh, my channel that I like to go to on YouTube is called, is called, this isn't promoting myself. It's actually a cool one. It's called Mandarin Corner. And I just typed it in there, Mandarin Corner. That one? Uh, these two girls run it. It's uh, pretty good because they talk about you know, kind of everyday situations and um, they talk in Chinese, but they put subtitles on the screen and with pinyin. So I like I like to listen to them. And you know, if you guys pay for YouTube premium, then you can watch YouTube on your phone and you don't have to have it in the foreground. You can like use another app and it keeps playing in the background. So that's cool. You could look at Mandarin Corner like that. Uh, if for some reason you don't have a stable VPN, go down to the link in my descriptions and you can see way down there what VPN I use. It's not the cheapest, but it's stable, right? Right? <laughs> and um, it's also a way if you choose to switch VPNs to support me at Elementary Chinese because they share some of the cost with me, but I need a good VPN because I have to live stream. And if I'm like, uh, 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 pop it around, like you guys aren't gonna watch and then you're not getting any value. So we're gonna stop here. Click or tap the screen right here if you want a video about what one? Oh, you're gonna like this. Halloween, it's a random one, but it's Halloween, okay? And we had a lot of fun uh, with Bryn from Burbex. He's an urban explorer here in China that explores crazy Chinese abandoned buildings and he discovered brains in a jar. Oh my God, so disgusting. You guys take care. Elementary Chinese, good, good study. Day, day up. Goodbye and have a good day.